Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about solution chemistry and we're also going to explain what net ionic equations are at the end of the video. So stick around till the end to find out what, what in the world are net ionic equations. But without any further ado, let's begin. So after a lot of thermodynamics, today we are going to be covering solutions. Now solutions have two parts, a solute and a solvent. Let's say a solution like water and salt. Yes, this one, this solution I'm going to use a lot in our chemistry series. A solute will be the one, the one that's going to be dissolved, like the salt. And the solvent would be the one that will be the liquid. And also, each solute will be two types. Like, there will be two types of each solute. One is a soluble solute and another is insoluble. These names depend if either one of them depends on will it dissolve in the sol solvent or not. Now for dissolving the I the ion so in the homogeneous mixture the ions get dissolved by making intermolecular interactions. If you want to learn more about intermolecular forces, uh, check the card I'm going to put in here, I think. In the cards here, I'm going to put it here when I edit this video. So click on the card I have on the screen. To check out this intermolecular stuff. It also and in salt and water the salt will make ion dipole interactions. Now again if you want to know what ion dipole interactions are uh, go check the card I gave a few seconds ago. So water and salt would have ion dipole interactions. Now nonpolar nonpolar molecules will not dissolve in water, or we can say water insoluble, like methane. Because if it doesn't have a dipole, it wouldn't make di it wouldn't be able to make dipole dipole interactions. So it will not be dissolving in water. Each mixture can be referred to as electrolytes. And electrolytes are how it conducts electricity. So it, it has to be a conductor. Like in water and salt is kind of a strong electrolyte because salt is conductor and so when they mix together that can conduct electricity and molecular equations can explain the phases that these atoms and molecules are in but there is another and a much more thing we use commonly called net ionic equations to explain this. Let's say a molecular equation such as this. Now remember that a net ionic equation will not include the substances that doesn't do any chemistry. So let's say a normal molecular equation like this. Remember that these subscripts 
are the phases S for solid, L for liquid, G for gas, and AQ for aqueous, which are basically the ions. And now we are going to include all the ions. So it's going to be a huge equation. So here is this equation, which is pretty much the width of the entire board. Here we have the, all the ions present in the molecule and now we have to cut the molecules that are on both sides just like in an algebraic equation because those won't apply any chemistry there will be no effect on them and the leftovers we just put together so a net ionic equation for this will be this because these are the only one that have chemistry like applies the chem so with that that's all that is going to do for this video and before I end this video remember to subscribe so that I so that if you want to watch more about chemistry, organic chemistry, science and math in general, if you want more, more of these videos about them, then you have to make sure to get notified first. So remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thank you for watching, and I will see you next time! Bye!